Every day is a new day in Gary Gensler's SEC. Oh, the regulatory equivalent of George Santos with an etch a sketch. Hey, I did not make up that line, okay? With an etch a sketch instead of policy. Oh, if I sell you a Pokemon card, is that a security? No, my friend. I sell you a Pokemon card on the blockchain, is that a security? It depends. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. There's lots of projects that put a white paper out, collect a bunch of money, and then that's that. Why won't the SEC go after those people instead of wasting time killing stoner cats? And if you've got ideas for Hester Purse, please bring them along to her. So she can do more than just write dissents, or she'll go become a beekeeper. Oh. And crypto folks were the very first ones to step in and help Ukraine. When they tweeted out for donations, it was $40 million in just three. They, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. You know your part now, right? You know, you know how it goes? First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you. Jim was a Rhodes Scholar and he can't understand a single word most of us say. Oh, those Democrats need to hear about those killer apps before they'll send any good vibes our way. And a regulatory clarity will come from the courts but legislative intervention would be nice to get that first there's a difference between having a rule and operationalizing it senator lumen says nfts are gonna be big oh and those new You ready? Two, three, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. First they ignore you. Louder, come on. Then they laugh at you, then they fight you. so much <laughs> in January of 2009 I set out to start writing a song every day that month and uh, I was broke unemployed it was a high financial crash 
And at the end of that month, I had successfully written a song a day, 31 songs, 31 days. And I decided to keep going for a year. So for all of 2009, I wrote a song every day. I was still broke, I was still unemployed, but I was having a good time and it was going well. Um, at the end of that, thank you. At the end of 2009, I decided to keep going, still, and that's how I stand before you now, having written a song a day for 15 years, 333 days, or 5,446 songs. Thank you. On December 31st of 2021, I sold all of those songs as NFTs on Ethereum for 0.2 ETH each. I raised 750 ETH, around $303 million at the time. Um, I was just telling someone up to that point, I had been making about $120,000 a year doing music prior to that, so that was like a big shock. Thank you, don't clap yet though, because I lost most of it um, to taxes. Um, so uh, every, everything, that you, everything that you guys talk about here is very near and dear to my heart. I could talk about all this stuff with you for hours. I currently have still been selling my songs as NFTs every day for the last two years. Um, and boy, those taxes are just, they're just horrible. Um, prior to NFTs, what I used to do is this. I used to get up at conferences. I've been watching the talks and furiously taking notes, and I transform all of the talks into a little, little catchy song that I'm gonna sing for you. Um, um, and, and I will say, you know, so I, I, I've been doing all right. Um, September, I made eight ETH. Um, last month, I made 0.6 ETH. So that gives you a range of like where we are in the bear market, which is all to say, if you enjoy this, uh, Come and bring me to your conference because I, I love doing this and the bear markets are tough. Okay.